when we shoot, we have trouble defending the net. So does everybody. And when we spar with the wrestlers, for instance, their straw is so strong, the double legs, single legs are so strong. But in submission, the game changes. Many things, for instance, they must walk forward the whole time. We can always step back if we need. So it's changed the momentum, the distance. We don't have to answer with something that we never touch our back in the mats. We can jump with our backs on the mats as much as we need to. Okay? So there will be shots that the person has such a height of the back. It's so tight that you can't grab the neck. But that's a very hard to hold. And when we stand here, we don't need to have great strong. Strong double legs to make so much useful training because our answers, our attacks can be different. Like you can be here more relaxed, exposing more your legs, maybe it's a trap. And then whenever <laughs> the whenever the person shoots in, like Fikira grabs the double, if she's a super wrestler, my scroll is not too strong, maybe all I need is this, a little step back and the back. And from now on, it's a completely different game because also when I am here, the fight's not over. <laughs> I'm not losing points because my back's on the mat. If we study the counters in a way we always go for submissions, that's a very good option. The other option is lifting weights all day long, being just as strong as you. That's tough. This pro like 10,000 times a day. So we need to practice the submission. From the, the position we were before, let's say, Kira threw me down, she did nice cover, she got the side mount. We were talking about not having the leverage, the leverage for the choke here. That's because my legs are not playing. I'm just squeezing with my arms and I don't really have the angle. Let's say if I could manage to move, move, move with the same grips and be here, it's a completely different history now, okay? If she does not know what to do to be safe, no matter how strong she is, I'll get the neck. Okay, so let's work on our chokes at first, just from here. After that, we will stand up and see how to pull the person to that bad position that Kira is now, okay? So the guillotine is not only strength. You see that some people that are not really strong, once they grab, it's so tight that people tap, okay? And there is two ways we will do it. One, with the arm, you see this arm, inside the hood. A lot of people believe that they don't really have the choke and they fight to clear this arm out and get this grip. That's when the person escapes. It would be awesome if we, we could hug the neck, just straight the neck the way I am now, but not always happens. Because as, as Kira was driving the double leg, his shoulder was tight, pushing my chest, I was off balance. All I could hug was arm and neck together. And boom, we landed here. Okay, the problem with that show is that a lot of times we try to extend the legs and squeeze as hard as we can arch in the back. And watch, the head pops out. That's okay if you do it when the arm is not there. That's why this one here is much more simple for everyone to feel the adjustment. It's just locking the legs. It's so tight I can feel the neck touching my, my forearm. Then you extend, arch your back, the person will tap. Okay, let's see the difference on both chokes. So this first one, I'm just going around the neck, holding my own wrist. Then, the next thing is pulling my elbow in and moving like if I want to touch my own shoulder. That's how you finish the guillotine. <coughs> Having this, understanding the way to move my arms, plus my legs pushing Kira away and arching my back and my hip up, it's so powerful. And it's so simple, everyone knows how to apply the guillotine. But that one here is very tricky. People that learn how to adjust this one, is a nightmare practicing no gear with them. Because everything you do, they grab your neck and your, your arm together. Okay, but here, the thing is, lock your legs, 
I'm keeping the same grip, just simple, holding my wrist. Let's see if you can finish this one. That's the one you will be able to get much more often than the other one. Don't push the person away. You actually want to bring the person to you. Make sure you have the head. The head will not pop out. Then you don't need to squeeze in a hurry. Take your time, adjust your grips. The head's not popping out, that's first. After that, it's hip scape. You see, I'm pushing her hip, even if I can step better. The pressure now is with my left shoulder, my left elbow, pushing her head down. Watch. I bring with my legs and I push it down. So, this is the pressure here. Like if you want to push the head down this way. So let's be just inside close guard, relaxing the choke. We can start from here, very simple. My partner will sit on, on his ankles and keep the hands here. Just to start the drill. Then we go from here, open guard, post, go all the way there, trap. One, without the arm. Escape my hip a little, reach my wrist. That's simple, but for no gi, that happens all the time. Head down, you grab the guillotine, okay? So, I'm pulling my elbow in, I'm trying to touch my own shoulder with my left hand, and I'm pushing here away. It's so much pressure. Second one, she will give me the position again, then I'll go. Trap, this time on the way back, I'll catch with the arm. So that's the one we need to see if we will be able to adjust. On top, you can hold the wrist, keep balance a little bit. See if your, your partner will manage to hip skate. Pull you in, and now push your head down. It's a lot of pressure. Okay? So let's go, guys. Let's work on...